Hey Freo fans, welcome to episode 5 of the pre-season show. My name is Brett from the media team here at Freo and joining me is a favourite son of the club, the most clutch player in the AFL, Michael Walters. Welcome to the show. No worries, thanks for having me. Let's talk some footy first and then we'll get into some fun stuff. You kick goals on and off the field this year, 40 goals on the field, but this year your first All-Australian selection. Can you talk us through that night and how that felt? Yeah, well it's obviously a massive achievement. Um, obviously I don't go out there to play for... Um, individual accolades, but um, it's also good to get my first All-Australian, um, just to just to give something back to the people that have been there my whole career, um, the likes of my parents, but also my brother as well. You also received Life Membership this year, um, pretty exclusive club. How was that honour for you? Yeah, it's massive. I mean, uh, I've been here, you know, this is my 12th pre-season, 11 years I've, I've played for Freo, and um, for me to get Life Membership, you know, I've, I've never ever wanted to play anywhere else. Um, I got drafted here, um, you know, I made a lot of friends here, lifelong friends and, um, and this is massive for me to play 150 games but also to get the, get the life membership as well. Yourself and the Hill brothers were a pretty tight knit trio for a few years. Bradley's taken his opportunity with St Kilda, does that mean there's some auditions in place to replace him? Um, yeah definitely, I mean it gives opportunity for someone else to come in and um, you know, set their position in stone, um, you know, the likes of Brett Bewley who's had a massive preseason so far. Um, for him to, you know, show what he's got, um, the talent he has, and and also to kick the goal and play on the wing, um, you know, it's a big loss. Um, Brad Hill leaving, but um, like I said, you know, it's a it's a massive opportunity for someone to come in and um, forge their career. And how about off the field in your little gang? Is Liam Henry uh, priming for that spot? Yeah, we drafted Liam um, into the group, uh, the crew, but um, yeah, he's got a lot to learn. Um, he tries to be funny at times, but he's not really funny. But <laughs> I'll try and teach him a bit. Um, you seem to have taken him under your wing. Do you sort of play a bit of a mentoring role to, to Liam? Yeah, I like to try and play, you know, whether it's Liam or you know, any of the other first years or second or third years, guys that are trying to get the most out of their career and also um, guys that, that are playing in the same position as me. Um, you know, I've always wanted to play at this footy club. There's no doubt when I'm done, I'm going to be supporting them. Um, but it's also to, to try and help the, the players along the way to make them and this footy club better. Now each week we're turning it over to you guys and asking your favourite players the questions that they want to hear. This fan wants to know who's your favourite player to play alongside at Freo? Um, it used to be Hayden Ballantyne because you always knew what you were going to get from him. Um, someone who, you know, same as me, loves his footy club but also uh, wears his heart in his sleeve. So um, this time around it would have to be probably Stephen Hill who I have a pretty close connection with. Someone that, you know, he may be quiet but you know what, he, what you're definitely going to get from him. Now, if you asked me at the start of the year, I reckon I would have said Dave Mundy for this next one, but we all know what you did this year. The better clutch kicker at the death for Freo, you or Dave? Uh, I would have to say Dave, because I think he might have kicked two goals. I've kicked a goal and a point. So, um, <laughs> leaving the score would have to be Dave, um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind having, a, having, a, having that shot again. Next one, the boots. What's your favourite pair? Um, is there a bit of a story behind your gold boots? Um, the gold boots, nah, no, no story. Um, the boots, because I'm with Puma, um, they like to send me out all these flashy, bright boots, um, you know, especially playing in the forward line, but um, there's nothing beyond my boots. It's just something that I have to wear. <laughs> <laughs> um, our mate Liam Henry, we've touched on him a bit today. He's asked, he wrote in, he asked, does Sonny love himself? <laughs> Not as much as he loves himself, <laughs> but I don't mind myself. Someone has to love me, no one else loves me, so I'll, someone has to love myself. We all do here at Freo. Do you own the Michael Walters socks? These are the ones I'm talking about. Do you have a pair yourself at home? Um, I'll be lying if I said I don't, um, but for the program, no I don't. <laughs> Good answer. Which character trait would you rate as most important for an elite athlete? Bit more of a serious one. Um, I guess knowing what you want to get out of your career. Um, when I first came in, I didn't really expect anything. I didn't really know what I had to do or what, what I wanted to do, what position I wanted to play and, and what I had to do to, to, to be the best at that position. Um, but coming into the system, I find now for the younger players to always um, have your career set in stone, know what you want to get out of it and know what you want to do to achieve that. You're an elite left foot kick, but um, we've just drafted a man by the name of Hayden Young. Do you, are you scared he's going to overtake you as the best left foot kick in the team? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> The more great left footers we have in this team, the better the team's going to be. 
good to hear. Uh, I guess this puts the midfield against the forward line a little bit. This fan wants to know, would you rather 25 disposals a game or kicking 50 goals in a season? Definitely 50 goals in a season. Um, 25 touches, you can, you know, I can get 25 touches and, um, and pretty much just kick it around. But to kick the 50 goals, you can see guys like from other teams in Charlie Cameron, who, you know, may get 17 touches a game, but, um, you know, kick his four or five. And for him to finish off with the year and kicking 52, 53 goals, um, that has a huge impact on the, on the team going forward. So I would like to say I'd like to kick goals. Thank you for your questions, Freya fans. Now let's talk family a little bit. I don't want to throw you under the bus, but I saw a very sweet birthday post for your lovely wife, Marnie, <laughs> last week. I'm told you might have mixed up the ages just a bit. What's the story there? Um, yeah, I'll put 30 um, <laughs> instead of 29, oh, no. which is wrong. Um, but I was getting a haircut at the time. And the story behind it is Marnie's three weeks older than me, but her birthday is on the 12th of December. Mine's on the 7th of Jan. And I thought to myself, I'm 29 next year in a couple of weeks, so she must be 30, but it was a little little <laughs> slip. I soon changed it, don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm sure she would have been a little bit filthy <laughs> about that. And your three young daughters, they come into the club from time to time. Are they aware of how famous their dad is or are they still, is it just dad to them? No, nah, well, it's just dad to them, but um, going to royal shows and stuff like around other people, they understand that um, I do have to stop and have photos and that every now and then. I'm a yes man, I can't say no to people. And, um, and my family, you know, fully aware that, you know, at times they have to be a little bit patient with me um, in public. But, I mean, you know, we put ourselves in a limelight. We're, we're here to be athletes, but then also we're here for people to look up to us as well. And we're all looking forward to a few weeks off for the Chrissy break. What's your plans for um, the few weeks off? Uh, spend time with the family. Um, it's massive. I felt like, um, you know, I've just been deep in footy over the last couple of weeks and um, pre-season gets tough and uh, strenuous at times. So definitely spend time with family, head down to Denmark and just shack up and just chill out and relax for a bit. Beautiful. Sunny, thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, that'll be the final pre-season show for the year. We will be back in the new year as we lead up to March 21 for round one. Don't forget to head to fremantlefc.com.au for all the latest news and video from inside the club. See you next time.